Welcome to Sweden. It's November 14th, 1989, and you're about to get a closer look at the open world of Generation Zero. In Generation Zero, you play as a young adult returning from an island excursion together with friends. Upon reaching the mainland, you discover the world abandoned with no other people around. Worse yet, you find yourself hunted by a mysterious force of deadly machines. Now you need to find out what has happened, while at the same time trying to stay alive, and eventually wage a guerrilla war against the machine invaders. Generation Zero allows you to create a unique 80s hero and play on your own or together with up to three friends in seamless co-op. You will explore a beautiful but dangerous open world where you constantly need to keep a lookout for enemies roaming while trying to find the equipment to survive and fight. The machines come in many types, sizes, and variations, constantly challenging you in new ways using different weapons and sensory equipment. Wear them down and disable their systems by pinpointing and taking out armor parts and components. Seize the upper hand by utilizing stealth, group tactics, or special equipment to distract or confuse the enemies. Use these in combination with objects in your surroundings to create traps and ambushes and turn a difficult fight into a winnable one. Should things go south, fleeing is a valid tactic. Since the machines are persistently simulated in the world, they will continue roaming if not killed. Whether you locate them minutes, hours, or days later, they will still bear the scars of your last encounter, waiting to finish the job. There's always a choice, no matter what. But sometimes, the closer I am to making a decision, I'm sure it's the right one. I won't forgive him. He's going to pay for what he did to me. Do you realize how important you are? Make a decision before it's too late. How could I make such a choice? It's hard to believe in me. I know I'm not the one they want me to be. Desmond, do you know what it will lead to? Trust me. What I'm going to do, it's right. No matter what you decide, just remember, I love you. Welcome, adventurer, to an RPG unlike any other. In a world forsaken by the gods, the people need you to become their next divine. Before you venture forth into the huge and sprawling realm of Rivalon, however, you need to decide what role you will play. Become a haughty lizard, perhaps, a flesh-eating elf, or even an undead dwarf. Or take on one of six origin stories, each with their own unique history and talents. I was destined to become the next emperor. During your journey, these heroes can also be recruited as companions. Right you are. Lead the way. Your personality and background will determine your dialogue choices, quests and challenges as you journey to replace the lost divine. Unfortunately, there can only be one. So the relationships within your party shall be put to the test. But before we get there, we have an astonishing amount of things to do. Befriend animals, grow wings, teleport enemies, or friends into burning pits of fire. Sneak, steal, talk to ghosts, and even tear the faces off dead enemies to create new shape-shifting masks. 
craft epic equipment or pizza. And use your powers of persuasion to get yourself out of sticky situations. All right. And if things don't go your way, you can always fight. What is that? I'm Omar Shakir, the narrative director at Avalanche Studios New York, working on Just Cause 4. In this mission, Rico's pursuing a massive tornado as it weaves a path of destruction throughout the grasslands. And this is the Storm Chaser, the only vehicle that allows him to do so. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Thanks to Avalanche's new Apex engine, everything you see, as well as the trajectory of every spiraling object, is being calculated in real time. Storm Chaser and get out of here. I'll get the tornado back on track. The Black Hand have taken over Solis's private airport. And to progress, Rico must take out the wind cans that are holding the tornado at bay. Adios. The player can take out the wind cannons in any way they choose. Right now we're using the railgun, one of the many new weapons in the game. idea where we are. Feels like we're walking nowhere. I don't think Daniel understands what's going on. I can't tell him the truth now. I just can't.
How am I supposed to take care of us out here? do now there's nothing we can't do as long as we're together welcome to the world of rage 2 an unprecedented partnership in gaming rage 2 uses id software's best-in-class first-person shooter mechanics with Avalanche Studios' mastery of open-world insanity. This incredible combination of action and scale plays as a smooth and seamless experience, completely free of load screens. Set 30 years after the events of the first game, Rage 2 takes place on an Earth that's begun to recover from a global catastrophe. Life is returning to the planet in the form of diverse and awe-inspiring biomes. From jungles, to deserts, to wetlands and more, the world is springing back to life. Your character hails from Vineland, a secluded conclave that you're forced to abandon after it's attacked by the newly resurgent authority. You start in the Secreto wetlands, where you've been sent to find Dr. Kavasier. Fans of the original may remember him as your helpful ally. In true id style, your character comes equipped with a sizable arsenal of powerful weapons. and making its triumphant return, a fan favorite, the Wing Stick, which has some new tricks in the game that will show off for you in a bit. With the authority mutants out of the way, let's talk with Dr. Kavasir.